Dealing with uh, Jalen Ramsey and Aaron Donald, I'm sure it's tough enough. How much tougher is their defense going to be now that they've added Von Miller? Yeah, I mean they got they got playmakers all over the place. Um, you know, you, you just mentioned three of the top players in, in the NFL on defense. So, a ton of respect for those guys and the rest of the defense as well. They're they're playing good ball all the way around. You look at uh, how they're playing this whole year. Really, uh, they've been playing good football. So, uh, we're gonna have to be at our best, no doubt about it. Brian, how's the neck uh, progressed on Sunday? Feels much better. Thanks for asking. The start this week been like for you, Ryan. You lose Derek, a friend of yours, a big part of this offense, but you also got it kind of turn the page and, and try to get ready to play. What were the motions been like for you? Yeah, it's hard, obviously. You know, losing Derek, a guy who put so much into this team and has done so much for this team, you know, he, he worked so hard and has been so durable. So it was almost a, a really a, a big shock, I think, for Derek and everyone else involved is, you know, uh, kind of shocked by it. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad it se everything seems to be going well with him so far. But you mentioned it, we have to turn the page, not really turn the page, but keep moving. We have to keep moving forward as a team, as an offense, and, um, and find a way to continue playing our football and, and you know, play good. Is that the leadership void, Phil, naturally? You, you have to do something consciously. How does that work, man? Is the it, it what void? The leadership void with, with Derek on. Uh, I just continue to be myself, you know, leading the way I lead. and. Um, you know, we have other guys that, that, that will continue doing the same as well. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely miss Derek. But uh, as an offense, we just have to keep pressing forward. Brable said no one in this building wants to start throwing 45 times a game now. What do you like about what you guys have with Derek out that can let you keep running the ball, keep throwing those play action downfield shots, and maybe even with some of the new backs that have been brought in? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, you look at the run game in general, taking nothing away from Derek, it starts up front. And, and that'll continue to stay the same as uh, we have to have to be physical up front and, and create space for for the backs that we have. So uh, obviously Derek's extremely talented and has a, a rare ability. But uh, if we're able to create space up front and, uh, and block physically on the outside with our wide receivers, then we're going to be in good shape, you know, um, especially adding some of the pieces that we added. The talk is that, you know, they say everybody needs to step up in Derek's absence and all. And while that may be true, how do you balance that with trying to stay within yourself and your abilities and, and I guess, impart that to the team? Just go play. I mean, I don't think, uh, don't have to overthink it a whole lot. Just uh, continue to prepare to, to win the football game and, and make the plays that uh, c uh, come up, um, you know, within the framework of, of what we're trying to accomplish offensively. How much you appreciate the fact that, I mean, you can't replace Derek, but management goes out and gets the only other active 2,000-yard rusher on the planet, right? I mean, that, that sent a good message to the room, you think? No, no doubt. It's, it's a huge addition being able to add Adrian. Obviously, the career he's had up to this point, um, unbelievable. You know, I can remember watching him back at Oklahoma, and then obviously – you know, his whole career in the league has been spectacular. So uh, a guy who has a ton of experience, who likes to run physical, kind of a lot like Derek does, and he's definitely going to be helped for us. And in play, how much does his style? The other day, I think, I think five passes to the three tight ends on that drive. Ha haven't used them a ton. Do you feel like this is now an opportunity to kind of maybe get them more involved in the offense? Yeah, I feel like the past few weeks, those guys have been showing up. You know, they're consistent for us. Sometimes the ball just doesn't. Doesn't end up going that way due to coverage and opportunities elsewhere, um, but they continue to to be reliable. You know they're reliable in practice, uh, and then they've shown up in the past few weeks in the games for us. So it's a it's a group that maybe doesn't get a lot of uh, attention or focus, but uh, I have a lot of confidence in them, no doubt. And watching Adrian Peterson play, how much does his style, in your opinion, fit what you guys want to do uh, offensively? It definitely fits. You know we look at what we like to do: get the ball downhill, and um, and run physically. And that's kind of that's exactly what you would say about how he runs a football. He's he's a strong physical runner and he gets downhill quickly. So I think he fits in perfectly. What did you say to him? What did he say to you? What was kind of your initial conversation like when you walked in the door? Yeah, I talked to him yesterday a little bit. Just uh, excited to have him on board. Obviously, you know, been a fan of his since uh, since he was at Oklahoma, watching him watching him run, and um, you know, excited for the opportunity to be able to play with him. Do you think Derek being out will fundamentally change the identity and the offense you guys have built? I don't think so. I think our, our foundation is the same. You know, I think what we believe in as a team, as, a, as an offense, is, is what we believe in. So um, I don't think that would change, no. Embrace this challenge a little bit, Ryan, of 
you know, not only the leadership void, but uh, I'm sure the passing game will play a bigger deal, uh, at least a little bit anyway. Is that sort of, do you see that and do you kind of say, all right, that's, I got to, I got to take that? Yeah, we'll see what, what shakes out. You know, you, you kind of approach each week independently and, you know, I want to do whatever it takes to win. Uh, so if that's throwing the ball more, then that's throwing the ball more. If it's running it more, then it's running it more. So, uh, you know, I just love winning football games. So whatever it takes to win and, and to give our, our team the best chance to win, that's what I want to do. You expect the way AJ's covered to change now with boxes maybe not as loaded as often? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. You know, AJ is a, a very talented player and is, has been making plays for a few years now. So, um, you know, we'll see how teams try to defend us. What's your approach as a quarterback when you're facing a guy like Ramsey, just one of those elite corners who's known for taking guys out of the game, basically? He does a great job. You know, you look at, you know, they move him around, he plays inside, he plays outside, uh, and he's making plays all over the place. You know, he's long. Um, he has a great sense for, for pattern reading and, and getting his eyes and, and hands on the football. So definitely have to be aware for where he's at. And um, you know, as receivers, we have to be clean in our depths and, and precise uh, on our details. And as a quarterback, have to be great with ball location. AJ has been saying a, a couple times that kind of to, to lighten the mood sometimes in a huddle, you'll, you'll occasionally begin a drive with a little little joke. Uh, um, anything you can uh, you can you can share in that in that regard that you usually try and uh... I don't know I just whatever comes in the moment it's not something I uh, you know have a have a little pocketbook of and pull one out you know um, I just try to get a feel for for the mood in the huddle and the mood of the game the situation and um, you know if it feels like a good time to bring levity to the situation then um, I try to do that. He can't uh, share them himself though sometimes they're a little bit. Uh, not not family rated is that? No, I I don't try to be. I don't I'm not uh, I'm not too out of the box. So. Well, you personally, as a quarterback, I mean, been in the league for a bit now. In your first stint in Miami, how have you seen yourself personally in terms of growth here, really in the past couple of years with this team? Yeah, I think I've I've grown over my whole career, and you know that didn't change when when I got here. Um, constantly trying to improve. Um, Physically, mentally, um, with leadership, you know, I think all of those things grow through time and, and through experience. So I try to file, file away every experience, whether it's a good or bad experience, and, and try to learn from it. And I think you start adding those things up over year after year after year, and, uh, you know, eventually, you know, you see growth and, and um, you know, better overall play and, and leadership. JB asked you about uh, Von Miller earlier, but you guys buddy from A and M days, and and the part of you when you saw that news thing, you know, wow, you have to be this week. <laughs> and have to yeah, again. talk about the timing, man. Um, but yeah, I, I love Von. We had some some great times together uh, at A and M. We actually came in the same recruiting class. I retired, he didn't, so he, he came out a year before me. But um, played in some really big football games, some fun football games together, and have a ton of respect uh, for him. You know, so. Uh, it's been fun watching him as a friend over you know the past 10 years, 11 years of, of you know seeing him continue to be a, a great football player. Um, you know, can't say I love love facing him, but a uh, ton of respect for him and and know that uh, you know he's a dangerous player. He sacked you. Have, you have a lot of the offensive responsibility on your shoulders anyway. Do you feel any added responsibility now that Derek's out of the lineup? My responsibility stays the same. You know, as far as you know, leading this offense. Um, doing everything I can to put us in position to, to score points. So um, the responsibilities and the, uh, the job, per se, doesn't change. There's a school of thought that you have to be running well for play action to work, and there's a school of thought that you just have to be threatening to run for, for the play action triggers to work. What do you think? Well, I think, obviously, the better you're running the football, then the more, the more bite you're going to get out of, out of the second level. So... Um, you know, I've played in games in the past where we weren't running the ball but had effective play action. Um, but I think overall, you know, it all works together, right? The, the more they respect the run and, and um, want to stop the run, then you know, the better action you're going to get out of the second level. Ryan, did you get a chance to, to speak with Derek at all after his surgery or have you spoke with him the last couple of days? And if so, what, what kind of was your message to him? Yeah, I've spoken to Derek a few times. Um, you know, talk to him after the game on the plane ride home, and um, 
just really feeling for him. You know, I've had that injury in the past before the uh, the combine, after my senior season, before the combine, I had the um, same type of injury. So I kind of know, um, you know, what what he's going through slash about to go through. Um, but just feel for him. You know, a guy like I mentioned who who put so much into it and cares so much and and does so much for us. Um, to be having you know the season that, that he was having, and then uh, to go out to play play through it for however long he played through it last week, uh, this says a lot about him and his toughness and uh, his his will to win. So you hate to see a guy that, that puts that much into it, you know, be affected by something like this. But you know he's built different. He, he's shown that over the the course of the past several years is his toughness. Obviously, physically, he's just he's built different. Mentally, he's tough. So I know coming back from this, he's going to be stronger than ever. And um, you know, been praying for him and, and thinking about him a lot the past How few days. Long did it take 